and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here reviewing the month of May, not just for the day trades, but also the options too. May was a very big month. Now keep in mind, at the, we started out May, okay, I'm talking about the general market here. We hit up and made brand new all-time highs, and then we fell, sold off, attempted to rally, failed, and dropped. So for the first four months of the year, the market was pretty much just straight up, really from the drop off from December through the rally up into January. And for four months straight, the market seemed very easy peasy, which you would think is okay, very good. But when you have volatility, okay, now just listen to what I'm saying. When you have volatility, actually it makes for a better play through and more profits if you are an active trader. So long-term traders have difficulty with volatility and momentum when it, when it happens like out of the blue unexpectedly, which it really did in the month of May because we were so strong in the first four months of the year. But again, May was a very profitable month, day trades and options, okay, because I was reading the volatility correctly and that made for really nice, solid gains, good trades, nice profits, some really big ones in there. And, uh, and we're gonna go through these. But I mean, people get scared off of volatility, but if you are an active trader, if you are an active trader that scoops money up from the market and books it, and this could be within five minutes at a day trade, it could be in three days in an option. I mean, I'm, this is something that a lot of people think of well, active trading, they think it's in and out in a couple of minutes. Active trading could be taking an option on a Monday and getting out on a Wednesday. That's still active trading when you think about it. I mean. This isn't swing trading where you buy and hold or you short and hold. This, this buy and hold mentality really, really, truly hurts many, many people that are trying to grab money and make money and become profitable traders in the market. And after seven years of teaching people, I've realized that the people that do the best are people that just, just make money, make money, make money, make money like that. And people that have this buy and hold mentality, you know, get whipsawed. And that is really what happened to a lot of traders in May. But May, for the stock swoosh trading room and the people in the gap options letter, was a really, really big month, okay? We're just into the beginning period of June, and I'll be doing that once the June is over. I'll be doing the June numbers. But I mean, for, for May here, going back and reevaluating it, sometimes it's good to step back and say, gosh, you know, I knew it was a good month. And then you go back and say, geez, this was a very, very good month. And then to also like I said, try to incorporate intellectually why, why it was such a good month so that it can be repeated, okay? So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at melissathestockswoosh.com. You can call me at 929 gap You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So 2019 is pretty much almost halfway over here and it's really hard to believe. I mean, it's gonna be July 4th in a couple of weeks and all of a sudden, I mean, it's before you know it, it's gonna be Halloween. If you're not making the money that you wanna make this year in your career or in your trading, then it's time to take a step back and reevaluate. You still have plenty, plenty of time left in this calendar year to become a profitable trader. And not only that, to change careers or make extra money if that is what you want to do. So I talked to a lot of people, some people wanna trade full-time, some people wanna trade part-time. Whatever your goal is, if you like your job and you enjoy your job, you can keep your job and you can trade on the side. And I think options are a great way to do that because you don't have to sit at your computer and be at your desk in the morning. When you're doing the equity trades, the day trades, you must be available into the open between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's when the market opens at 9.30, and that is when the live trading room is open and active and people are participating, and that's when you wanna get the good moves, okay? But the options trades sometimes are called any at any point during the day. So if you're interested in more information, I teach a class once a month. It's called the Golden Gap Course. And I teach in this class how to find and predict the direction a stock will go after it gaps. So in other words, I'm not predicting the gap itself, okay? I'm predicting the move that the stock will make up or down depending on the gap after the gap has occurred, all right? Follow me. So I'm waiting for the gap. Then in the pre-market or the post-market, I'm rating the gap per my system, for the 26-point golden gap rating system, and then I'm, I'm saying, okay, this stock is gonna move higher or it's gonna move lower, just so you know. So this was Amazon. Stock closed here, gap down, fell, boom, Followed through here, big move, 
You know, this is, you know, this is a big bar for Amazon. So when you're looking to trade, if you are aimlessly back and forth with different things, you're not gonna find what you want unless you focus and get really, really, really good at one thing because that's where the money comes and that's obviously the goal and that's why you're doing this. A lot of people go back and forth with many different systems over the period of, you know, one year, two years, five years. I've found, I've met it with and talked to people that are attempting to trade the market successfully for 20 years or more, longer than I'm alive. The fact is that you really have to find something good that makes sense. And my system makes sense because I'm looking for a particular thing each day in a different stock symbol based on what institutions are doing. I'm looking for institutional money that's buying the stock or selling the stock. And then I'm looking to play with that. And institutional money really controls stocks in the market. And I can, I can go over that in another lecture later. But it is very, very, very important to have a good system. Okay, so it's very important to do what? Number one, get the directional bias correct for a stock. Okay, number two, if you are going long a stock, then in order to make money, guess what? It has to move higher for you to profit. If you're shorting the stock, it has to move lower for you to make money, okay? So you can actually short a stock and bet on it going lower and profit. Many people don't understand the concept of shorting, but I teach that in the class too. Either way, it is all about getting the directional bias correct. Whether you're going long or short, you can make money both ways, although I will tell you I prefer to short. But if you can predict the direction that a stock or the market will go before it goes there, then you have mastered something very, very, very special. And that's what I have done. And I did this a long time ago. I've had the business for seven years, but I've been trading for 11. So it's a long time. And I don't do anything else. So I've become a master at reading gaps and predicting directional bias in a chart. And it's based on my gap rating system, which is based on technical analysis, but it's advanced technical analysis and gaps. And although there's other companies in trading and educational places that teach about gaps, they often teach the wrong information or very often the opposite of what you would learn from me. So people come to me, new people do really well with me because they don't have any bad habits. And sometimes old people come to me and they have to unlearn things that they learned before that they think work, but they really don't, okay? So how do I determine the direction something will go? I rate the gap. I get up in the morning and rate it. I rate the gap using my 26 point golden gap rating checklist. This is what I can teach you in the golden gap course, okay? So this is the month of May only. That's what I'm going over here. All the day trades from May, okay? Average risk on the day trades here, equity trades is about 2,000 per trade. Just so you got an idea. Now, you do not need to risk 2,000 a trade. You could risk $200 to trade. You could risk $100 a trade. That's not, that's not the idea. The idea is to take consistently winning trades. It does not mean that every trade will lose. The parentheses show the losses of the trades that failed, and then the gains are, you know, the gains. But total for May, this is again with an average trading advanced trader risk of 2,000 per trade, 86,680. So the month of May was a big month. There were some really big winners in this month. And then there was like a couple of days, like you see here, the 22nd. I mean, I just hit it, hit it, hit it. Normally I just look to go to one thing, uh, but you know, sometimes there's just so many things and you know, you just do them all. And if time allows and the setups are there, we take them. And I'm calling the trades live in the live trading room. Now to join the live trading room, you must have had taken the Golden Gap course. That is a prerequisite to join my live room. Anyways, now let's go to the options. This is, this is May. I mean, I have just been a machine. A machine. I've been a machine actually for the, this whole year, 2019, but really like I'd say like the last six to eight weeks, I've just been a machine with trades, calling trades, seeing trades, doing trades. I mean, it's just been like Machine, machine, machine. I've been like a machine. I need a vacation, a, re a real vacation, actually. Anyways, this is this is the month of May for the options. You know, again, some of these were calls, some of these were puts. They are not complex options. It's just buy the call or buy the put. If you want to get the options trades, you sign up for the options letter. It's forty nine ninety nine a year. It's five grand a year for one year. You get all the options trades emailed to you. 
So this is the month of May. Again, a really big month. There was a lot of good moves in stocks. Some happened on the day. Some took a few days. Some happened in a gap that occurred that followed through where you would take a trade on a day and then get up in the morning and it would be up and it would be falling through in the gap. And those are the most exciting days. Those are the best days in the world to get up to. If you take a trade, I'm mean, just listening to me. If you take a trade on a Friday and you're in the trade and you might be down a little, you might be up a little, you might be down a lot and you get up on a Monday morning and that trade is up huge. There is nothing like that feeling that I could even describe to you. And actually, it's the same if it was Thursday night to Friday morning. But I mean, to go from Friday to Monday and then to be up huge has happened. And that, just, I mean, I just can't, there aren't words to describe how that feels when you roll out of bed in the morning and you know that when the market opens, you are going to be up huge from a trade that you are already in, and this is an option, and this is an overnight. And, th and there's been some, and I'll try to do some, some reviews of these trades. There's just been so many of them, though. So many that I couldn't possibly talk about every one that we've had. But they're on this letter, and if you want to sign up for this letter, again, it's $49.99 per year. I do not have a monthly subscription, but the benefit is that there's no prerequisites for this letter. So huge, huge, huge month of May for the options letter, 241.825. So again, ultimately it's about results. Results mean that overall you are making money. It does not mean that every trade works. Some trades will lose, but you should risk the same or close to the same in every trade you take. Now the options risk could be different from your day trading risk, but every option trade risk should be similar and every day trade risk should be similar. And in day trades, we use stops. In options, we do not. I say to people, you could cut it at 50% loss, but I don't suggest that unless it's something that you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely want to do. That's up to you. That's your decision, really, if you want to cut the trade before it plays out. But if you take a trade, I would say cut your risk back and take a trade and let it play out. Okay, so just lower your risk, though, so you can let the trade play out. So 328505 for the entire month of May. Now, how did I figure out all of these calls and trades? I used my system, a system I created again when I started trading a long, long time ago. It's called the Golden Gap System, and you can learn the system in the Golden Gap class. You do not have to do both options and equity trades, but I think you can make money doing both, and I think that that is the best bang for your buck to utilize the system for overnights and for active day trades and for options and for equity trades. Because there's some days we get great equity trades and there's no options. Then we get some huge options trades and there's no equity. So this way, you're making money all the time doing it all over and over and over again. But it's ultimately about the gap. It's the gap rating. It's the volatility. It's the momentum. All the stocks we trade in here are things that you know. You know you've heard of them. Penny stocks are crap. Cheap stocks are crap. People that are teaching people how to trade those stocks is dangerous. I would never, never, never recommend anyone to trade any of those things at all. And I know people do it and they think they can take a tiny bit of money and make a million dollars. That is totally false. It is absolutely ridiculous and it's not common sense. These trades and these numbers, although they are big, utilize a set risk that is a large risk, okay? You do not have to risk a large risk. Again, getting back to what I was saying, you don't have to risk $2,000 for each day trade. You could risk 200. But if you want these results, that's what I'm saying you would be looking for. The idea is the potential. You start where you are right now. If you have a small account, start with a small account and grow your account. And while you're doing the trades and while you're growing an account, you're learning through the process. It is a process. And I know everyone wants to make a lot of money right away. You're better off at the end of the day learning it so that you can repeat it over and over again for the rest of your life. Okay? Because my system works in any market conditions. And actually, you know, like I said, some of these were, were longs and some were shorts. But many, 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 many of those day trades were shorts. So let's talk about, again, your goals. If you have a full-time job, then what's the best thing for you? Well, if you don't have time to day trade in the live room in the morning between 9.30 and 10, you can sign up for the options letter because you could be at your office or do whatever. The trades for the options letter get emailed to you, you take them, and you just watch the trades and manage them on your own and get out when you're up. If you want to do this full time and transition, even though we don't trade all day long from 9.30 to 4, you would learn the Golden Gap course method and then sign up for the live day trading room and trade in the room between 9.30, 10, 10.15, 10.30 Eastern time, learn the day trading method, 
and then maybe at some point you want to do options. But if you're trying to find a new career, then you definitely, definitely have to learn the system because that's how I implement all of the trade calls and everything that I choose to do. Okay, so I get up in the morning, I rate the gap. I think it's beneficial to everybody to learn it all. I've had some huge, huge option calls. And then if you're not in the day trading room, you're not getting the daily calls because they're not the same. So in other words, the trades I call in the day trading room are not the same trades as the options letter. And that's just because some trades, some stocks don't make sense to do, sense to do options and then vice versa where we would never day trade, for example, something like Amazon or Google. Too expensive and it makes a lot more sense to do it as an option trade. So I say this gives people the flexibility uh, based on their risk to do both. Either way, it's the same system. The system is the Golden Gap course, okay? So it's really beneficial to learn it. Anyways, if you'd like more information, you can email me. I teach a class once a month. The class is the Golden Gap course. Next class is June 22nd and 23rd, 9 to 5 Eastern time. Cost of the class is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You could be anywhere in the world and take it. I would not wait to sign up to the last minute. I already have people register for this class. I have a lot of interest right now. The room has been doing very well. If you'd like a trial for the room before the class, I do give one week free trials. You can email me at melissa at the stock .com if you want to register. And if you're only interested in the options newsletter, just email me. You can sign up. Again, no prerequisites. $49.99 for the uh, $4,999 for the year. So you get all the trades for the year and get them emailed to you. Okay. Anyways, any questions, email me at melissa at the stock .com. Have a great day, everyone.